Hi guys, so because I was trying to film a video about the most anticipated books for 2018 and I was looking to the videos that I have and the books that I have on my TBR and um, I came across a video that I did for 2017, the most uh, anticipated ones and I was looking through the pictures and I saw what I've read, what I haven't read yet and I thought to share with you guys, I think I said eight books last time three six yes eight books and i will tell you guys which one i've read which one i have not read and which one i still want to finish before the year is done and which one i lost the interest in them and i'll leave the links below to all the books that i have read and also to the video that i have previously for the most anticipated books and the first one, it is The Struggle by Jennifer L. Armstrong. It is the third book in the Titan series. It is beautiful. It is pretty much Titans, gods, demigods, and all the, like, a big war coming out, and who it is, and a god slayer, and, oh, it is so many beautiful things. We have a god killer in there, and we have... I can say everything, okay? It is just beautiful. Go ahead and read it. This is the third one. I will give too much away and I'll leave the link below because I will make it too long. The second one that I want to read and I plan it to read and I hope I will be able to by the end of this year. It is Intensity. It is the eighth book in the Sherry Kenyon uh, by the Sherry Kenyon. <laughs> She's the writer. It is in the Chronicle of Neat series. It is beautiful. If you know the um, Dark Hunters, it is pretty much kind of like a sequel, kind of it. Not, not sequel, like, well, they both collide. Like, you know, there are 24 in the Dark Hunter, then you have this one, 8, that I think it goes up to 18, and they're beautiful. You don't have to read both series to know about it. You can pick either or. And what I love about this one, The Chronicle of Nyx, if you want, you can read the first six books and you can stop there. It's a beautiful ending. If you don't want to continue, just stop over there. It is pretty much about the uh, Shadow Hunters, um, gods, um, demons, angels, a demon that even the gods they're afraid of it and they want to keep in control and uh, witches and anything you can think about it it is there time traveling uh, dead comes into place and things like uh, you know the dead actually the dead that comes and takes all the people comes in and uh, tries to green reaper let's call it like that it comes and uh, talks with this demon tries to make a deal about certain things and keep things cool so it's beautiful where well written I cannot wait to see well why I have not read it it is one I have not purchased it yet two I'm waiting to have it on audio because I have no time and three I am afraid of the continuation the third book and I'm don't remember this one about it and why I was so into it. Uh, it was Worthy by uh, Donna uh, Connor, but I think what I wanted to read this one for is because uh, I think she, the Donna Connor, it is the skinny one, isn't it? Yes. So I think that's why I wanted to pick hers because I love skinny. So I wanted to pick Worthy. Because it is just, uh, I'll put it like this because I'll have a picture right here. Um, I think I wanted to read because of that, because of this book I wanted to read. That one is so, I will go into it and try to see if I'll like it. I just forgot about it completely because there were too many things on my uh, TBR. And I already talked too much and I'm not even halfway through. The next one that I just finished and I was so in love with. And I was so afraid to read it. It is uh, Strange the Dreamer by um, Eleni uh, Taylor. Why I was so afraid to read it? Because one, I saw it is gonna be maybe more than one book. We don't know yet if it's gonna be a trilogy, a duology, a series or whatever. Two, I'll fall in love with it and I know that it will, I will have to wait for a while for it. And three, that she will lead me on a cliffhanger at the end and I will want to pull my hair off. It's like, ah, uh, that's exactly what it happened, okay? It's just beautiful. She has an amazing writing style. It is just like all her books, it, the beginning is a little bit slower, but beside that, it's just amazing. This book is just amazing. 
like the powers if you want different kind of gods different kind of angels different kind of like story that you want to hear about it definitely pick this one up you will love it and you will see why it's called stranger dreamer okay it's just beautiful the next one it is redox by a um a l uh, davor it is a beautiful duology it is a uh, pretty much it um it's going on like a dystopian, but it's so unique. Like you will have this um, city. Well, it's kind of like think about the adventure, but not really. And think about like uh, the Hunger Games, but not really. It's a little bit similar between those two, uh, but different. Let's go like that. It is uh, just this: uh, all of the aristocrats and the elite, they have the money to like. Um, uh, clone themselves but not really clone themselves to clone like whatever to make themselves perfect but not like a uh, Botox or anything like that no I mean to actually work with the DNA and work to make the DNA perfect if you get shot the DNA will work itself too and heal you and you'll not die if you something happens and you get an amputee then you get a, a different hand that it connects with your DNA and they will work itself and you don't have any like it's just beautiful the way it's writing you can change the skin color you can change the eyes color you can change your intellectual level you can change so many things it's just beautiful and incredible the next one that i was afraid to read it it was the lord of shadow by cassandra claire one it is because i knew her writing too because i know how long i have to wait for it and the most important it is because i didn't like that much <sighs> you guys gonna hate me but I didn't like Lady My Night so much. I, I have way too many things in front of it. It's, uh, I was so afraid. That's why I even got it just on audio. I just like, but I did love it. I enjoy it. I was afraid it would be too much drama and I am trying not to have that much drama and to a fantasy or whatever, but I did enjoy it. And now I do have to wait two years for the next book. One or two years, I think. I, but yeah, it's like, I'm pretty sure you all know what is this one about. I don't have to talk too much. The next one, it is The Dark Calling by Kersey Cole. This one is not out yet. I thought it will be out this year, but they push it for the next year. So, it will be probably on my uh, TBR for the next year. Um, it is, I think, the last one. I hope she's not going to pick a different one. And the um, Arcania uh, Chronicles. And I am very afraid to read this one, but I do want it to finish with it. I want to know the ending. It's just like, I, even though I hate who she's starting to pick on and it's getting so obvious at some points, but it's just getting annoying. Like, oh, this or that, oh, this or that. She keeps on changing her mind. The writer, it's just getting overwhelming. The next one, it is uh, 13 Rising. And that one, it is pretty much the Zodiac. It is the third book, is it? Uh, I think it is the third book. And that one, I do want to read it as well in the Zodiac series. And I don't know if I'll read it this year or not, but definitely going to continue that series. Way too many in my, to my TBR party people. Way too many. Now, I don't even know when I'm going to start because I have the ones for the... Ah, here tons the two of them that they happen this year so yeah we'll see you guys let me know if you have like a more anticipating for this year and what have you read and if you read any of this ones let me know what do you guys think and sorry for making it so long bye bye guys